and we are gonna attempt to pull these dents that are right here there's one here one here and one here after many tries about 20 tries later this one's completely gone um, this one still has a little bit right here and there's a little bit still right here I'm about to oh, that's fine. subscribers I'm Barboss today we're gonna be having a review on this Harbor Freight crossbar dent repair kit and we are gonna attempt to pull these dents that are right here there's one here one here and one here this box includes the glue gun the dent lifters the crossbar with the wing nut adhesive sticks um, the release agent and the finishing tool I'm gonna go ahead and crack this open and see what we have exactly in here all right so we got a bag with some glue sticks and a glue gun and it looks like we have the rest of the stuff over here get this opened not sure what this is if this is just to mark wherever you have a dent just color on your car kind of how I did with the marker I did that with the marker because I'm gonna be repainting the whole car so the whole car needs to be scuffed down so I just took a marker and I marked all the spots that I had to fix all over the car. All right, so it looks like this is what it comes with. And this is the parts that we are gonna be gluing. This is the release agent. I guess after you're done, you probably put this on there and it releases it. You got another little tool right here. Or actually it looks like another puller for pulling smaller dents I'm guessing and our glue gun I'm gonna read over these instructions and we will continue this video I just read the instructions and it's telling me to go ahead and apply glue to this guy that I am unscrewing right now stick it where the dent is Put this guy over, use this to pull the dent out. Once it pulls it out, go ahead and put a few drops of this. It says two drops to put on there. Use a scraper, scrape off the glue. This is not like a crayon or anything. This is a dowel. So if you pull the dent a little bit higher than what you're supposed to, you use this with a hammer and you tap it back into place. I thought it was a crayon to mark your spots. I guess it's not. Either way, let's go ahead and put it to the test. I'm gonna be using the smaller piece that it came with and we are gonna go ahead and place it right here like that. Decent amount of glue. And 
and I'm just gonna let it dry two, three minutes, and then we'll go ahead and attempt to pull it. All right, these wing nuts right here, they're adjustable. So you could adjust them depending where you want it. So we're gonna go ahead and get them as close as we can. I'm guessing the closer they are, the more support it will give the middle piece when it starts pulling. So let's see what happens. Whoa. So I'm trying this again. This time I put a lot of glue and I put the glue over the top after I stuck it on there. I put the glue on the top and I went ahead and I glued more around the edging and what I did, I smeared it all around. So hopefully now it does its job. All right, I am ready to start this again and here it goes. All right, it's starting to pull it. I can see it. With very little. It is starting to pull the dent out. All right, the glue's coming off. It's getting loose again. Let's find out if it worked. I'm using the scraper right now. And it looks like it did pull the dent out a little bit we're gonna go ahead and do it again but it is working I'm gonna tell you guys right now that this thing does work I went ahead and I put the bigger piece right here and it popped this dent completely off there is a little bit of glue left but this dent is gone um, there is another dent here that I am gonna pop right now but let me go ahead and hit this guy again See if it pulls it out. But it is working. It is worth the 15 bucks that I paid for it. So what I'm doing is I just keep twisting this until it pops. Look at that, it's looking a lot better, way better. I got the bigger piece glued over here, um, see if it could go ahead and finish pulling out that dent. And I'm going to start on this other one that's over here. So you guys can see there's like a little line, we're going to go ahead and place this guy right here and see if he could pull that out. I am waiting for that one to dry, so in the meantime, we're going to attempt to pull this one again. Well, I just broke my Harbor Freight tool. So you guys can see, it snapped from here. But it, it looks like it did pull the dent. So we're gonna go ahead 
and apply some of this stuff to remove the glue. And that should help it pop off. It's looking a lot better. I just need to pull right here on the top and this dent should be gone. We're gonna go ahead and go back to this one over here. Let me see if I can place the camera in a better angle. After many tries, about 20 tries later, this one's completely gone. Um, this one still has a little bit right here. And there's a little bit still right here. I'm about to pull here and pull here. Um, because right under there, it's kind of like this. But it's not too bad compared to what it was. So I definitely recommend this. I'm just going to keep going at it. And finish popping those out. I forgot to mention that these little pieces are pretty cheap. Um, both of my tools did break and the only thing that was left was this. So I ended up putting, let me show you guys, putting this through a nut that I had laying around. And since it's metal, it's definitely not gonna break and it's, it's doing the job. So if that happens, so if that happens to you guys, just take a nut and put this guy through and that's what you end up with. All right, well, this is the review and I do recommend it. It's working great. It is getting the job done, except for these little pieces that are bad. They're pretty cheap. Besides that, everything worked out great. Um, I did use the three glue sticks I'm down to like that much that's left in there and I will probably use it to finish this up but either way this is gonna be it and I'll catch you guys on my next video till then peace out stay safe catch you guys later